Uh, hello. Well, I mean, good Monday if you're a Patreon listener and if you're a regular uh, tight wad. Uh, welcome to Wednesday's episode of Sloss and Humphreys on the Road. Uh, this week, uh, well, we've kind of changed the studio a bit. We're in the middle of a makeover, so you can see it kind of done. Sometimes people show you before and afters and you can see, oh my God, it's so different. We're not doing that. You're seeing every increment of slight improvement. So I do enjoy it if you're on the um, visual podcast today. Audibly, we speak about uh, Kai's off on a stag do-ish, kind of. Uh, and then obviously we speak about abortions for a bit. And it's, um, it's imagine what every single podcast of two straight white men has been for this past five days, which is just as awkwardly dancing around a topic that we don't know too much about, but we know we're passionate about it. We don't uncover any new territory, but boy, do we look liberal while we do it. Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. That, that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head. Me. So we're doing a double podcast record. We've yes. Just, we've just had Gene on for the bonus episode on Thursday. Yeah. And we're doing Mondays now, yep. so this will be hot off the press. And, and anyone that's watching on visuals, which again, we're just going to keep pushing you towards that, because that's where the big bucks is, I'm assured. Um, we've moved the table to a different part of the room. This is progress, isn't it? Oh, oh still not that second camera angle we spoke about, but hey, but look. it's 5% of the way nah. in our direction, isn't it? Yeah, and the room's still a mess, but all the messes on that side. Nah, no, you can't see it. You couldn't see before, can't but see it now, but you know, now we've got, I mean, not more wall to decorate, now we've got... Look, the majority, Windows. the majority of people are listening. Yeah, look, hey, if you so, get bored of our chat, look, open a window, look outside. There you go. Um, nice. Oh, isn't now, it? now they're just getting Danny. They could just kind of get glare off. Them. Oh, well, well. Uh, so the reason we're doing a double bill podcast and recording them both today is because I go on holiday on Thursday. Yes. Um, on what I can only describe as the in between us having a midlife crisis, lads' holiday. That Matty just pulled out of his arse. Matty was just like, oh, I'm turning 40. Would you like to text us, Gan? Do you want to go on somewhere for my right. 40th? I was like, I'd be up for that. I'm going for a drink with Matty on his 40th. Why not? Be best local spoons. One of my best pals. I was like, do you fancy going abroad somewhere? I'm like, for sure, let's get away. Um, Matthew is now organising the Wayne Lineker experience. Oh. Of just like, um, he's booked me in Ocean Beach in Marbella. Oh God! You know okay. the place where like rich Russians go and they will like get like ten grand bottles of champagne. We went to Ocean's Beach. In Is that where we were? Yeah. I was thinking that. I was. I, I think so. I was wondering huh? if it was that one. Aye. Um, but uh, I was like, uh, so you're going to pay one hundred and fifty. Army fat bald Jory mates. Go <laughs> up. <laughs> we're paying because this is what pay one hundred and fifty for a bottle of vodka. It'll be more than that actually. This is what this is what's funny, but it was like. Um, I, I was going to Natalie, like, so often when you walk past these exclusive, like, beach bars where they've got, like, um, resort beds that you pay, like, fucking 60 to 100 pound to get a bed and then, like, more to get a bottle of vodka, you look in, it's all, like, very attractive people. It's, like, fucking Jolly Shaw, like, ripped to shreds, like, good-looking lasses that are potent for Instagram and all that, right? And you're like, oh, fucking hell, like, it looks good in there. Like, now... People are going to be whacked by gun. Thank God they've caged, caged them blokes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God they're keeping us safe from them. They've got them cordoned in. Um, is there so, any part of it that's... Is there, any, is there a part of it that's like golf? I mean, I'm going to try and like... I'm going to try and swing for that. Aye. I'm going to oh, try and... Oh, I'm going to try... I'm gonna, uh, thanks, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try and angle it so that we're doing... Activities accustomed to middle aged people and yeah. not just floating around nightclubs full of posers, which is what I like. You know, Matt, he's like Marion Young. Yeah. 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 He's having her holiday, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel that Matty, uh, he's, al- he's allowed to go to, he's allowed to go to Marbella, but it's to, you know, play the clubs there, you know, well, you know, golf clubs. It's, it's to go to the beach. It's to, you know, it's not go, the, it's, it's to go down near the strip. We like to drink it's, near it's, the it's, strip. It's not a wagon in eight clubs like somebody's dad's brought his mates to beat up some lad that's given them shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many of you are going? I think there's about ten of us. But it's like, I, I, don't, I, I don't get why it's a lad's holiday. Like, oh. why is Amiya and Natalie not gone? Why is, why, 
Like, well, because why, why? Well, because I'm pretty sure at one point Matt was like, "I've had to go somewhere for my fortieth," and me was like, "Me too." And she was, and he was like, "Oh, I'm inviting Kai." She was like, "You can go." <laughs> <laughs> And then, you were, and then you were like, I'm off, on holiday, I'm off on holiday with, uh, with uh, Matty. And now it was like, cool, have fun. And then that <laughs> happened a bunch of other times with a bunch of other blokes. I reckon that's what happened. Uh, I just, I don't know why we're having a sausage fest holiday. Yeah. Well, who are the, other blokes, uh, who are the other blokes that are going? And I'll tell you why. Every, everyone's married. Aye. Like who? Sean, Can, lovely lads, Brucey. But like, I'd rather if like the Amy's were there and Natalie, because like, Bruce's got Natalie as well. Yeah. We've all got Amy's and Natalie's basically. Yeah. I'm like, I'd rather we went as a group of twenty in a villa and we had a bit of balance instead of it. It's gonna be like a stag do, but no one's getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you just you, you're inevitably going to do I the mean, things. I mean, Matty is getting married, and Can, who's a guest there, is getting married, but. That's not what it's been organised as. This is just a fortieth birthday. You could spring it on them. You'd be like, hey, congrats, it's your stag too. And they just made them drink shit that they don't want to drink. Minimal Aye. effort. But turn yeah. up with a shirt. Aye. Stag too with the S crossed out. It's safe, it's safe to say they're not listening to this podcast, isn't it? No. No, I think I, I think Matty sometimes does. Does he? Sometimes, but not often. So I, can't, not, I can't really plan it on this podcast, can I? And then nah. Nah, Can definitely doesn't listen more. to this. Can doesn't. Nah. And they're definitely not patrons, other. So if the day you get it, it's going to be when it comes around Wednesday. I reckon. I reckon you can spring it on. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the game. If if one of them is a good enough friend to actually listen, listen to the podcast, that's they that's the daddy. I've bought a fucking. Uh, I've bought a bunch of shit to put them in. Yeah, uh, we've got Al because Can and it's Can and Matt. They're both getting married. Yes, right? it's one of their stag dues. And um. Can Matty does get an abroad stag do because it's his first wedding. Yeah, yeah. Right, and in he's a, marrying abroad. So a, he's marrying abroad. Yeah, he's marrying abroad. Abroad, or he's marrying abroad. Both. <laughs> <laughs> so Matty gets an overseas stag do, yes. right? Uh, because we're gonna like take him somewhere, right? This this isn't specifically his stag, but Can gets an at-home one because he keeps getting married all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not everybody can pull you to hold every couple of <laughs> <laughs> Other people are getting married too, man. So uh, we're going to organise something for, at home for him, but we're like, oh, this is the same group of friends that I can, so everybody's just bringing shit to put him in. I've bought this lovely fishnet top, uh, yeah. right? Like really wide fishnets, long sleeve, right? Not just because you look class wearing Aye. it, but because the tan lines are going to be built up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, but yeah, but you act like he's not turning up already tanned. You can. Aye, is he not one no. of the, like, you, no. the way you go to your tan before you go? That's not... No, nah, can doesn't, no, nah, he's nah. a pasty boy. Okay. Um, so I've got that. Obviously, we've got, like, a Tottenham top for Matty and a, and a Sunderland top for Can. Uh-huh. Because it's like because they both love those teams, and uh, we're going to be playing football together. So you know they might as well be on their favourite teams. Big top. fans, and we we'll, yeah. we'll like to appeal to them. Yeah. Um. Uh. One of the lads, because we've decided, like, if you just bring something each. Yeah. Uh. One of the lads has got, you know, the the flame shirt. Oh, sick! Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I was talking, I bet he had one of them. Honestly, <laughs> probably. I like, bet you absolutely had one of them when I was a teenager. Almost uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was even. Like, I'm pretty sure I used to have t-shirts with like fucking like cartoon drawn cars on them because uh, I was like, that looks fucking sick. Uh, when I found it, it was it was titled Y Two K Flame Shirt, and I was like, Aye, I should have just asked you for yours. <laughs> 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 I mean, to get in with this. Yeah, um, yeah. We've obviously got the dissolvable seams swim shorts so that when he's out having a swim in Ocean Beach, he's, he's, his boxers turn into cordial. Oh, for, right, hold on. So, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So, are they losing their luggage? Are you intending for them to lose oh, their no, luggage? Oh, no, we're actually like. We're not going to do much to Matty. His stag's mm. coming. You're not mm. getting away from it. Like, Matty, do you think you're yeah, getting rid of your stag uh, by having a shotgun stag of your own making? Uh, yeah. Right? We're going to hijack your birthday, which you've been looking forward to the attention of your birthday, yeah. and we're going to make a can stag do. That's what's happening. I wasn't going to talk about it on the podcast in case they listen, but here it is. Uh, um, so we, Can's got no idea. He's going to Matty's 40th. Uh, One of his other best men isn't even coming because he couldn't make it. So I, right. I've got, I've, I've just, I've just got questions about. Hit me. How are you going to get him to wear the dissolvable swimwear? Which I also have further questions. So, about. so this is the first question of many. Right. So it's it's a stag. Uh huh. Right. 
we tell you what to wear. Oh. Right, obviously these uh, the basically just red shorts with life got on, right? Um it's hard to get them to wear them as a joke because they just look like decent shorts. Aye. Right. But we'll put it as a package, we'll give them it with like the fishnet or we'll give them it with a fucking Sunderland top or something. Yeah, like okay. we didn't get Sunderland shorts, so so we're gonna like package it up with that. Yeah. <laughs> right? And we're just gonna like everyone's just gonna bring some shit to put him in. He's got no idea. Like he doesn't he's he's gone to Marty's fortieth. Uh, next thing you know, he's gonna have his cock in the ocean beach. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you need to bring women on a holiday. You need to have balance. Well, I, it's going to be fucking chaos. <laughs> Nobody knows what's happening. It hasn't been organised. <laughs> so he's just going to end up... Do the, like, do the, it's just the seams dissolve and then it comes off and he's going to be... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The seams of your shorts turn into dust. As soon as they want Yeah. Oh, so that, 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 I didn't even know that. That gives me anxiety so much. Now. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know that. I'm like, that's a, that's a fear I know. Just have it in. I'm like, hey, can I borrow some of yours? No, no, no. I'll wear my I'll wear my own underwear. I'm not. Oh, God. Uh, one of my friends is on a stag do at the moment, and they've dressed the stag up as um, Jimmy Savile. And a tra- Great tra- comedy. In a Good. Sh- shell suit, cigar, yeah. and all that. Uh-huh. They've all dressed as children. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Jimmy Savile going around Riga with a bunch of children. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, so I, uh, we've got a few days before we're going. We're just literally like in a splinter group WhatsApp without Matty in because Matty doesn't know that he's forty. It's been hijacked. Yeah. Um, completely hijacked. Like uh, enjoy your birthday on your own time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Organise your own fortieth holiday. Like we're kind of all have holidays for our fortieth. Yeah. Come on, mate. Overstretching there, like pincer. Um, so, do you think it would be funny if we don't even acknowledge it's his birthday on his birthday? Uh, do it the day after. Or do his birthday. Yeah, or, or, or just happy birthday the day before. And then yeah. be like, all right, thanks. And be like, what were we? You get him any, are you getting him any gifts? I've, I didn't think so. Like, what should I get him? Um, what, should, what should I get Matty for his birthday? Do I give him a gift? I'm going on holiday. Yeah, you, you, you don't be like I'm going on holiday and doing a favourite. You're going on his holiday and hijacking it. So <laughs> yeah, I reckon you buy him a fucking gift. Oh, I'm gonna get him something that's just dead annoying to put in his suitcase. Uh, I'll get him something big when I'm out there and make him buy luggage. <laughs> <laughs> um We can so go on holiday now. We can. Not you and me. <laughs> Cara's and Caelan's passport. Oh shit! After arrived. all this fucking time, yeah, finally yeah. has been returned to us. Aye, aye. So he's going to go anywhere nice. Yeah, we're coming on Cass uh, Stag Do. Ah. <laughs> yeah, me, <laughs> Caelan, Cara. <laughs> uh, just leave them uh, nearby. Oh mate, get him, to, get him to take Caelan into the swim pool where he's got his dissolvable pants on, <laughs> and just he instantly goes from like doting, dot, doting friend that gets called uncle yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Creepy yeah, fuck uncle. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like, oh my god, yeah. Could you call him a fuck uncle? <laughs> creepy, creepy ass fuck uncle. Oh, right, yes. right, but creepy but fuck uncles work. That's creep- my creepy fuck uncle. The creepy you know, like, you know, like, like you've got fuck buddies, and you've got fuck uncles. Well, there's my creepy fuck uncle. I've got regular uncles that I just fuck on the side. My my but, sister tried to coin the term funkle because I was a fun uncle. Yeah. But now, first but of all, now, but first now of all, it sounds like fuck your uncle. sister didn't. She tried to go now. Yeah, well, like how you invented egg fried rice. Oh, she thinks yeah. she's the first person to come no, up no, with. No. Fun- I mean, she tried to make it stick with. Us. Oh, right, got yeah. it. Understood. I, 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 I do understand that I did say coin the term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> if your sister's walking around, she's like, I'm the first person to put fun and uncle right. together. Oh, she's the first one to say guesstimate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it makes that a funnier word that applies to, you know. Get, guesstimate is absolute muggle corner. Yes, 100%. Of like course it, is. If, if I was to bring back muggle corner, guesstimate needs to go in if I have Well, I think, I think to, um, muggly is to con- to shorten any two things together. Yeah. It's like Brangelina, even if you do that with your friends, and we do that with our friends, yeah. you, you know, know casually. You, you, know, you know, never um, put in muggle corner, uh, living rent free in your head. And I don't know if that just become muggly recently. But no, but it is absolute muggle core. Any, any time anyone's like, "Oh, living rent free in your head," I'm like, "Oh, I you've just you've you've learned that catchphrase, have you?" Uh, I know there's been a, somebody said that originally, and it was very very funny. And then there was the, like the slave to you that heard it for a bit afterwards, and we all laughed the first time we heard yeah. it, and then we also laughed the first it, two or three times we used it, and then 
It's got a whole new layout to it now because I would say it to like you or Colin or Gareth or something, right? Just because I know how much it would fucking just rock you to your core to hear that mugglery. Mm. <laughs> like, uh, if, if, if it's such a yeah. It's one of those things where it's 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 a verbal equivalent of uh, what's wrong, nothing. No, but what's wrong? Like it's the act of doing the thing is the wind up uh, itself. Yeah, uh-huh. like it's you know. But you seem so angsty. You're getting wound up. I'm not getting wound up. I'm just speaking louder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that shit. Aye. Like Pasco living rent free. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's your first Pasco reference. It is. Aye, a few, aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Just start charging a rent. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> start doing my rent. So it's, so it's once a month now. And then, aye. you know, aye. Just got to squat us right. Um. So, also, so uh, I'm going away on a last, like, a fucking weird stag, that isn't a stag, uh, in between us, midlife crisis, yeah. lads holiday. Yeah. I'll be going uh, on my first family holiday at some yeah, point within yeah, the next couple of weeks. Family holiday, but also, we won an award last week, and I haven't spoken to you about it yet. We won the fourth Fringe Award for oh, the best show at the Fringe. Oh. Thanks for going to collect it. Yes, uh huh. Uh-huh. No, it was, I think it was his best artist. Uh, it was, uh, was it? Yeah, and it's like it's and it's written on there as that. What does it say? Best artist. Best artist. Mm-hmm. Best artist. Yeah. Because I've won one of them awards before well, on a solo venture act. on a solo venture that I did. Uh huh. And it was best show of the Fringe 2016. Oh, I don't know. Kai Humphreys in full colour. Or so and it was like the same. Yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. like on a board award. They haven't changed the brand and on the awards. So, I think. I mean, I was shocked to win it for a second time. Well, no, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure it just says my fucking I name. Mean, I mean, mine definitely does just say my name and not the fringe title of the show. Oh. But it says best show, best show. I don't think Kai I won best show. I think I won best artist because uh, I am obviously. It's really awkward because I've been celebrating the award that we won. Uh, the, uh, not just as the fourth fringe award. Did you know you were going to win it? <laughs> yeah, what? No, I went there for fun. Because I did last well, time. Well, I, no, and also, <laughs> like, I, like, I said that purely to be a snarky dick. We did go there for fun because, uh, well, it was going to be me and Cara's first day off from like she she was yeah. like her parents were down babysitting. She got we had this, Aye, so we we had, we, we had it, and so we turned up to because uh, it was like here's a fucking piss up that you can do for charity, and also. You know, you get to fucking dress up and there's an award and it, blah, blah, blah. So we went along and it went pretty chaotic pretty fucking quickly because we got in there and we were straight on the bubbles and Cara's not good with bubbles. She can put away heaps of booze, but if it... Vodka's a poison. Yeah, it, she, Cara yeah. can put away lots of vodka, but if you put bubbles in her, three bubbles will fucking ruin her. So we have like two bubbles and then we go, can you just like vodka lemonade from her? And they're like, it's, just, it's not... We don't we don't do singles. It's just by the ball, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. It's, you know, it's for it's for charity. Even though this is just the bar, <laughs> but that was going to be my catchphrase for the rest of the evening. I'm like, it's for charity. I can do what I want. So um, I'm like, we'll just get a bottle for the table. Everyone else will drink some vodka. That's absolutely fine. And then the guy at the other side of the table, uh, Michael, who's one of the producers at Fourth Bomb, we're at his table with Boogie and Arlene and everything. He's like. Who ordered the vodka? We're like, we'll pay for honestly, mate, we'll pay for it. It's just they didn't do single ones, so we had to buy a bottle. He's like, no, no, normally this is like a really boring table and everyone's dry here. If you guys are on vodka, great, it's on us. And we're like, no, now we're mortified because we obviously we have to pay for this thing because yeah. we can't order a bottle of vodka and then have somebody else pay for it. That will make us feel like a dick. And then he uh, insisted, uh, well, basically he and Canada decided to split the bottle of vodka. They end up getting Mullered over the course of the dinner. I'm on the wine. I'm on the bubbles. Early on, I think I've told you this story eh, through text, but I don't think you enjoyed it as much as you could have. Slash, even read it when I put it in the group. Right. I don't. I, I don't keep fully up with WhatsApp groups anymore. Right. I've I've, I've tapped out of the six hundred right. message. So you don't. Catch-ups. You don't know about the silent auction. No. Oh. I, I know what, nothing what? about the silent auction. This is news to me. <laughs> Right, all right. So, 
it's 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 fourth. It's cash for kids, which is like a really great charity in Edinburgh. Yeah. Fourth are always supporting it uh, and raising so much money for them. So this was like an award ceremony to give out to like a lot of local acts. Like Callum Beatty was there. Uh, it's a chance for people to go and get fucking pissed. And comedian or musician? Musician, yeah. really good musician. Uh, and then there's like tables, restaurants, best restaurant. So the, all the nominees are there, and you know you win the award for that best teacher was one of them. There's tables of those, and then eventually the public can buy some of the seats because. At the Usher Hall because there's live music on throughout the thing. Can be plays all these other people. So we turn up and we're all dressed all nice and um, me and Cara are out fully with the intention of getting bored. And it starts at twelve, so we're like, yeah. this is ideal. Is we it, can get day drunk. Last time I was there because I, I was booked to um, perfo- we, I was booked to perform. And um, I was performing for free, but it was for a charity, but I lived in London. And me and Jean knew that you were going to get the awards uh, and knew you were going to be asked to perform, so we got you Stoned as fuck beforehand, uh, and I think there's actually, drunk. There's actually a podcast, yeah, there in, is. The, in the archives, yeah, of where it, from 2016, where we come in drunk from that. Yes, uh, um, no, no, uh, you come back drunk. I did. I wasn't there with you. Me and Jean stayed at home, and you returned to us and yelled at us because you didn't oh, know you, you were winning there. the awards. That's uh-huh. how drunk I was. Uh-huh. I thought I was with you. Yeah, ah, uh, there you go. Um, and it was like making the mechanics and Paul Young, like mm. they had some like kind of you know renowned artists that your parents loved. Aye. It was just you the one. Is that why you thought my name would also be on your awards? No, no, you. It was only you won the awards. I knew that. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No, okay, I was but, making a joke right. that you won the it's same up. award I won, but but Understood. I, I didn't have an opening act. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so I was saying it was our award. Oh, gotcha. Just what I was doing. Mistake. You you won an award. Uh, so so we go to this dinner. I'm on the champagnes, I'm on the red wine, Cara's drinking the vodka, there's a silent auction there, and I'm like, cool, um, new money, like, that sounds fun, there might be something up there that I want, and there's like a bottle of whiskey, and it's like two grand, and Cara just touches my knee and goes, don't, and I'm like, I'm, 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 fair enough, fair enough, that does sound like me, and I would be that sort of arsehole, uh, but I'm also you'd, like... You'd probably break it open when you were drunk as well. Yeah, yeah, you know? but I also said to Cara, I'm like, look, this is all for charity, this is all for a good thing, and also we've not been out for fucking ages, I'm like, look, I'm going to be silly, and I intend to I'm going to buy something, yeah, yeah, it's not about the purchase, it's no, about the, put the it's money about, the Yeah, it's about, the, it's about the charity, yeah. I've never been, to, I've never had money to be at a silent auction before, let, allow me to indulge myself like a fucking wanker while I'm at this event, where it's quite easy to enjoy yourself being a bit of a wanker um, so there's one thing that's uh, it's a speed pole pub crawl around Loch Lomond for seven people oh nice right aye right so they will take a speed boat, take you one side to a pub get your fucking shit face there put you back on while right. you're on that speed boat, drive you over there you could drink there there's another pub that's Excellent. it seven people yeah. I'm like that is what a deal what me and my friends all over that is right now it's valued at, it says, it's, it says, sorry, here's my mistake. It says minimum bid, 800, right? Now, my dumbass, my stupid dumbass, drunk ass, never been to an event like this before, goes, oh, that's the value. That's that's what they're doing there. They're putting the value of the item there so that you know what to bid. Because I don't, I think it's like you, you put in a bid and then that's it. You don't know if you've won until the end. You don't know if you've put in the highest bid. So do you bid. think it's like eBay? Where like the bids are the bids up to like uh, eight hundred and fifty, but if you put a thousand, it'll only go up as other people bid. No, no, I clearly think that what it is is you don't get to know anyone else's bet; you only get to know your bet. So they, so if you want to win it, you have to sort of bid the highest, whatever the highest bid wins. But it's not; it's literally not competing. Silent auction. Silent auction. That's what I think it is. So I'm like, right, well, nothing's gonna fucking sell for. Like half of what its value is. Like this is everyone's in a fucking suit here, right? And and it, and it's fourth. It's like a really big radio thing. Like everyone in this bit's gonna have money. People are just gonna be putting on big big. So I bid, I think fourteen hundred, right, so, uh, on this thing, and my bid comes off the screen. Dinosaurs first bid of the day fourteen hundred on the thing. And kind of like, did you just bid six hundred over the minimum bid? And I'm like, oh. I now know what this is. Like you, st- uh, you have to put the minimum bid down, and then that's, and then you bid that, and then of course, because it's a fucking auction. Of course, it's a silent you auction. Took all of the fun out of the auction. No, you're like having that. <laughs> Nobody else. Is. Yeah, yeah. I just, <laughs> just double, double it in fucking price, and I sit there going, "I'm such a stupid idiot." Like, of course, 
Of course, you put the minimum bid in, and then you put down eight hundred fifty. Then somebody bids it eight uh-huh. nine hundred, and that's and why the evening goes on for a while. Aha! Aha! You fucking stupid idiot, Daniel. So I'm sat there, and Karen's like, "You are a bot." I'm like, "Go on, yeah. go on, go on. What's the next item, mate? Is it, is it, I hope you didn't book baby uh, Other things, the other things are going up by twenty, by fifty. Some of some of them are really good. Some of them's like a fucking, uh, you know, a weekend stay at the Monaco Grand Prix, and the starting bid for that is. Four and a half thousand, right? And and I think that went up to like seven or eight. Like people are paying big money, but my dumb ass on something that is, you know, it's a speedboat trip around Loch Lomond. It'll be class. It's not fucking fourteen hundred quid. But I'm a dumb ass. I'm like it's for charity, right? I'll wash me. I'll, I'll I'll accept the roasting that I deserve for not understanding this very easy to understand simple fucking thing. Everyone can fucking laugh at me, ha ha ha. And also I've won this thing. It's for charity. Me and my friends will have fun with it. Someone bid you. Marlena <laughs> outbids me by 50, right? It comes up. <laughs> MZ bids 40, 50. She taps me and laughs and goes, ah, I'm about to bid you because she clearly thinks I really want this thing, right? So she outbids it. Craig's laughing. Everyone at the table's laughing because they're like, that's funny. She's outbid him on this thing that he wants. Three minutes pass. Oh, she thinks you're going to outbid her again. <laughs> she thinks you're going to outbid her again. <laughs> and you're just saying, oh, thank <laughs> fuck. Oh, I, I could have been Hannah Monaco for that one. <laughs> so I start laughing. She's like, why are you not outbid me? I'm like, congratulations on your prize. Oh, no. <laughs> She's like, what? And I'm like, I'm t- she's like, I bid me. I'm like, I don't no. want it. And she's like, I'll not invite you. And I'm like, fair enough, it's your prize. <laughs> 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 and then she's like, what? And then she's like, look, she took it with a very, very good sense oh, of humor. But she's like, she's like, I'll invite Cara, I'll invite your brothers, I'll invite your mum and your dad, I'll invite Craig, and you'll be the only one not invited. And I'm like, and me and Kaylin will sit at home having not spent double the asking price. <laughs> <laughs> so did you let it take out? She won it. She won it. <laughs> <laughs> and she only bid it because she thought you wanted it that much. That you'd easily go. The, the, and she actually just got you off the hook. Uh, Incredible. Good and, agent. And then did you buy anything else with the. Because you must have felt like you had pockets full of money at that uh, point. Yeah. And, w- and you still want to give to the charity. Yes. Uh, so I did. I did. I did go up. I, I did start bidding on the whiskey at one point. But then somebody went up to three grand. And I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And, yeah. I, and I know who I am. I'm like, I will crack it open when I'm fucking drunk and finish it in one fucking session. It'll be a, like, Daniel, just don't. Uh-huh. So you didn't win any of the other bids? No, I did, I did. <laughs> what have you got? I, I, I won a, a last season side Celtic top. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, I'll get it. I'll, I'll, I don't, I don't, I'll, I'll, I don't. Aye, uh, but he does, he's, he's a fan of old school Celtic, so. What does that mean? He doesn't like them anymore? No, he does now, but just he's, he's like, I'll take it. But he's like, he's, he's like if you know anyone, we've Wait, got other friends who are like big Celtic, mm-hmm. like, you know, he <laughs> could give out a prize on this. <laughs> we could do. Uh, I, I imagine there's at least one fucking thing out there. Aye, so should we put it to the, to the, da- to no. the dads? Well, the... no, 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 hold on, because I think it's kind of saying one of our friends might uh, oh, might have a kid like who's a big... Tease, tease, you like that. Uh, no, I know, but I'm not going to rip it out of the hands of a child Celtic fan. Ah, uh, fair enough. Aye. Fair enough. If it, was a, if, it was a, if it was a tiny Rangers fan... <laughs> 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 oh, I'd fucking rip it. I'd fucking stop it. I would have wow. it just to burn uh, it. I've never seen you like this. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from if there's bits in your orange, if your water's fizzy, if, <laughs> if there's bits in my fizzy water, <laughs> that would that would enrage me. Uh, yeah. um, so I won that, and then and then we ended up. Oh God! I mean, Cara can put away a bottle of vodka, but when she feels like she owes it to the table to put away a bottle of vodka, she, she came out so, so drunk, and she was like. I managed to steal this, and it was a bottle of red wine that she doesn't drink and was free. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I snuck this out, and I'm like, you wouldn't need I snuck this gift from a charity out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, try, they tried to make me put it in a gift bag, but no, no, I snuck it up under my top. <laughs> got him. Um, I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh. You tried to make out that I took a weekend off work for my dog's birthday. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and that bothered me a lot. It bothered me a lot. I pointed the finger at my wife, Gan. Why are you making him think that? And she's like, chill out, mate. Chill out, why are you angry? Have your coffee. 
<laughs> I, I, had to get, I had to get, I had to go at me lass because you thought I was taking the weekend off from your dog's birthday. <laughs> It wasn't even me that said it. Cara said that to me. I was kind of, I was kind of, I've never pulled a gig in my life. <laughs> oh, so I've been with you three times when we've pulled gigs because we were like, we can't be arsed for this one today. Oh, no, no, we've, uh, we've, we've done some, we've pulled some gigs on the tour because of our Fred Bear. Aye. But like, I would have still done them. <laughs> and he narrowed it up. <laughs> He now would have been there, like, needing blood tests because his fucking stress levels are too high. <laughs> oh, 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 it's going to be here, Lincoln. <laughs> he now would have been there. Because I can't... Cause tell, you, sorry, you tell yourself I'll the tell, story I'll first. tell you what happened. And I did, I did pull... I didn't often pull gigs, right? But I pulled, a, I pulled this gig because uh, I was coming back off your stag mm-hmm. and then... Driving seven hours to Skegness to do a couple of gigs, doing that way, right? And then driving back and then going away for Matty's 40th, right? And it was just this absolute fucking luma. Like, the tour finishes, I've got these weekends away, parties, mm. right? Uh, I fucking have, I've just got this fucking seven-hour, 14-hour return journey to Skegness. And it's like, me agent books the gig with... with not our, not really, never, anyway, again, okay. getting too deep into it. And uh, Gareth had just done it that, the weekend before the stag Aye. and fucking died on his hoop. And, and Butlins, oh. for fucking 13 minutes, he's booked a day 20, dies on his hoop for 13 minutes. And I'm like, in the middle of me holidays, I've got this 40 hour drive to fucking Skegness, right? And that, that weekend is uh, my anniversary weekend, not when we got married in Ibiza, but when we'd done a secret sign in the papers in London so that it got officiated, Aye. so that we could have, Natalie hates it when I call the wedding in Ibiza a veneer, <laughs> but it was, <laughs> it was the show when, Aye. it's the when that was celebrating stuff, but we had to do the paperwork, the documentation, the contract at Aye. home on the 23rd of June, right, and it was that weekend, and uh, I'm like, let's go to Clay and Castle and book a meal and have, like, an anniversary weekend mm-hmm. in the middle of this instead of Dean Skegness. And, like, with a heavy heart, pulled the gigs from that weekend. Mm-hmm. I've never pulled gigs, right? But it was looming, and I knew I'd be in a better place if I pulled them. Aye. Never pull gigs. The next morning, you're like, did he pull a gig? Oh, it's Peggy's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I mean, Peggy's birthday does happen to be on my anniversary. It's very coincidental. <laughs> you came straight in. <laughs> Like, if that's how you want to spit it, I'm like, oh, I'm just, this, uh, I've received some information from Cara. But. Oh, I can't leave me professional credibility on the line here. I'm pulling a, pulling a gig because it's my dog's birthday. I mean, I, I did. <laughs> I did pull a gig on my dog's birthday. Yeah. If you want to look at it like that. Yeah, if that, and that is the lens that... But the way I'd like to spin it is the, the, the 30 minute story I've just told. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just go for our actual, you know. Anniversary, you could have had just not the yeah, mental health I stuff. Could, I could have just not made a fuss, could I? <laughs> I made it look like you'd hidden nerve. <laughs> <sighs> I, I remember um, when we played Sun League football, Sean uh, didn't turn up one morning. And a uh, good footballer, Sean, and Alan, mm. he's a miss, you know what I mean? Like, if, if Sean's not there, so I'm, like, he's doing my side now, he's me right back. All oh, right, okay, oh, right, okay uh, aye. Sean didn't tip up because his dog's bum was bleeding. And I just remember going, you're not turning up to football because your dog's bum's bleeding. <laughs> Man, if my dog's bum was bleeding, you wouldn't see me at football. Like, I get it new. I'm 20 years too late. Yeah. But I get it. Why was his dog's bum bleeding? Shagging it too hard. <laughs> Shag- that, that, Shag- that wasn't even... <laughs> I was it. asking a genuine medical club. I wasn't doing an underarm throw. Shagging it way too hard. Not that he shouldn't have been shagging it. <laughs> Just doing it too hard. Not that he shouldn't have been. It was a girl dog. I don't know why he had to do it up the arse. <laughs> I don't know, man. Probably just an excuse. Um, we have uh, probably hung over, wasn't he? Speaking of how to mistreat your animals, so Ray is now deaf, uh, definitely deaf, uh, and also we reckon a little bit blind. She's on her way out. Cara doesn't like that term, but she is. This cat is circling the drain. We've made her happy. She's comfortable. How um, many times have you said goodbye just in case you, she wasn't there when you woke up? Oh, not that many. But let's be one hundred percent real. We got this cat where at the start of lockdown. Uh, 2020, 
And my mum was like, you know, you'll get a good couple of years out of her. She's like 14. Oh, oh I think my mum gave her. She's like, she's like 11 or 12 years old. And then within like two weeks, Ray got ill with some liver stuff. We took her to the vet. The vet was like, how old is she? We were like 11. We come back three hours later. And it's like, just to let you know, this cat's 14 years old. And plus also, here are a bunch of health problems we've just discovered. So we thought she was dead then, right? My mum felt really bad. She was like, I can't believe I've just given Cara, who's grieving the loss of her other cat. Of Last 16. year's cat. Yeah. <laughs> Which term that she still doesn't like. Uh, she never did like that one. No, no, never been a fan. Oh, you're talking about real last year's cat. Hate <laughs> it. Hate it. Uh, so my mum's just like, I've just given you another dying cat. Cara, obviously, because she loves animals in general, but going through this, then attaches herself fully to Ray. Uh, and then Ray pulls through. The thing that we think is a tumour isn't a fucking tumour. Uh, and it's fine. And it's, I mean, man, she was, she was, she was meant to die in 2020. It's now 2022. And the whole time we were like, she's just got to get us through to the end of lockdown. And then lockdown ended and we got out and we're like, oh, it'd be a shame if the cat didn't make the baby. Like, you mm. know, she's been so so funny watching Ray and Cara be pregnant. We mm. wanted to meet the baby. I don't want photos of this big cat uh, beside this tiny new, baby. New York and like, uh, she's going to miss Kiln's graduation. We don't want to Right, it's, yeah. My point, Cara's like, gee, if she can survive to the wedding, I'm like, man, if you had told us in 2020 that we'd get Ray to the fucking wedding, we would have bitten your hand off uh, at the time. You'd be delighted. And now we're at the thing where she's still there, but she's slowly... Gently. She's still She's hanging. hanging on, but you're like stamping on her fingers. Like, just let go. <laughs> let, the, let fucking go, man. No, but because she's spoiled and she's had... A, well, not She's spoiled now because she came to a retirement home for somebody who loves animals more than human beings. And obviously we've got this lovely big garden and she's she's spoiled. She's got three people that live in the house that love her. She's, she's had the best retirement. Four ever. of you live there, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, one of you doesn't love her. Hi, wait, oh, no. No, you do have a child. Yeah, yeah. Living in the basement called yeah. Ryan Cullen. Yeah, yeah, and he doesn't understand love at this age. <laughs> he just knows who feeds him. <laughs> um, she's enjoying her retirement. Like the other day, we've watched her trying to hunt pigeons, and the way she hunts pigeons is she will cut, <laughs> hide in freshly cut grass with her tail up as high as it goes while making noises that she thinks are silent because she's deaf but she's just meowing very loudly and the reason the pigeons aren't moving is because they're three metres away they know she's a fat cunt and they're being like this stupid fat cunt thinks it wouldn't take her seven minutes to get here and then they fly away and she's like oh they they got away one last time you're not allowed to give Ray frights. She's at an age now where... Oh, fuck. No, no, well, uh, yeah. Watch out the hiccups. No, no. And yeah. the, you've got to start watching scary movies with her as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God is like, don't... Like, if she gets a fright now, it's the thing where she could just go, ah, die, die. Allegedly. Oh, wow. I don't know how true that is. Um, but if cats get frights, it's not good for them. Nah. So you kind of do that cucumber game with them. No, nah, you, nah, nah. <laughs> you throw cucumber... You play dodgeball <laughs> with a cucumber and a cat. <laughs> Um, we, me, oh. me and Callum will be playing FIFA, right? And we'll look at the window, and Ray will be going under the gate to get outside, which was fine when she was fourteen years old and had the agility to move out the way of a car and ears that worked, yeah. and to know there was something or knew there was something on the ground. Now, the second she goes towards that, whatever you're doing, even if it's Callum, you fucking drop him and you go and grab the cat that's about to be mushed by traffic. Yeah. It's not a busy road. I fucking run out, right? And I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm like, this cat's about to fucking die. It goes out, the road's fucking clear. She's walking down the road to you going, Ray, Ray, she's walking away. There's no, no even, if, even if I was looking at her, she wouldn't hear what I was fucking saying. Ray, yeah. Ray, Ray, I have to go behind her. Man, when I tell you I grabbed this cat and she fucking jumped. Oh, uh, no, you can't. <laughs> I've, man, the I've, cat has literally two days previous been like, don't give a fright, don't give a fright. Now, what she means is when I stomp my big ass downstairs to feed Ray in the morning, uh, you know, if Ray's asleep on the couch. And you're dressing going like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Just trying to freak her out. You know, Just rattle, <laughs> rattling chains. <laughs> Uh, she's like, don't, you know, scare Ray. Yeah. Tell her the cost of petrol. <laughs> Jeez. She can't drive at this age. She can't hear. She wouldn't be, She wouldn't hear everyone calling her a cunt or a shit driver. We'd have to get her off the roads. Mm. Uh, man, this cat jumped out of her fucking... I, like, I honestly felt like that if you'd come around the corner and been like, where's Ray? I would have been like, she's here. And I was just holding the fur the outline skin. off her. Why and, like, her why skeleton. skeleton's just still running on the spot <laughs> five feet above me. Like, hold, uh, hold up at the end sign. <laughs> and just plummet into a cloud of ash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
But she survived that? She survived that. And you know what? I've been, Cara's pointed out, I've been saying that we're going to lose Ray in two months for, like, fucking three years. I'm those, I'm like, uh, what's the really left-wing paper? I'm like the Guardian being like... Independent? Yeah. Guardian, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like the, Ar- the Guardian being like, there's only six months of the NHS left. And, you know, they've been doing uh, that for 40 years now. <laughs> she's going to clash with next year's cat. Yeah, mm, well, I mean... You're going to get dogs next, right? Well, there'll, there'll have to be a break because we're having another baby, and I'm, and I'm not, I'm not training a baby and a fucking animal at the same time. Ah, uh, that's true. Not doing you, that. You've already got a bastard child. You don't want a bastard dog. Aye, aye. You've got to have a wedlock. Got to make sure. It's a, yeah, we're and, get and, the other, a wedlock. and the other kid's not coming until. So I think we, I think we stay off pets until, until like killed good enough to saddle them up and ride them yeah, in the battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as long as he can break them in himself, so like they've got, mm. there's got to be some level of responsibility even though obviously it will just be me that ends up doing everything Aye. it's nice to you know build yeah. build the lie first and you're, pro- you're probably going to have more kids as well aren't you so that two two more or two total just two total uh, you might have twins Give oh one. no I th- if we if Cara got pregnant with twins we'd have to kill one she's too small man so like there, 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 there was barely enough nah, for both she's, of she's robust uh, <laughs> she's durable I mean she, she's really durable she can take a punch. <laughs> <laughs> she can I? But 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 some people like it's like some people don't realize how really genuinely dangerous twins or triplets are. Like I'm pretty sure now if you, like if it, if you get triplets, there's points where they'll bring you in. Uh, they might become Jedward. Yeah, I feel bad. Real, yeah, and and it's your responsibility to kill one of them, uh, even the now. One. Yeah, just you hit them off each other and keep the survivor. Oh, well, you like the way you test, which is this, this, the best smarty. Is that what you do? <laughs> Crush them together. Uh, you see which is the best one. Is, which is strongest, and you eat the weak one. Uh, I've never, I've never pitted smarties against themselves. I'm no, trying just, to play. Just, just twins. I, I never played God with my sweets. Just twins. Just <laughs> Irish twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I read about, uh, I think it was a woman in Brazil who was, like, giving birth to, like, five or six and two months before she went into give, give labour. <laughs> You, you don't sink, go for sink triplets. Yeah, you don't go to full term if it's triplets. They always make you give. They'll do cesarean at like seven or uh, eight months there because at that point, like they just you know they're all they're always going to be preemies. You'll just explode. But I think if you go get to like fucking five or six, even before that seven month where they're going to cut them out, you've got to go in and be on your back for the final month because if you're carrying around five or Sexy, your spine and your knees and everything that keeps you upright is going to die and be ruined forever. Because I carry too much timber. Aye, way too much. And also, like, I can't, like, look, Cara hated being pregnant. She loves being a mother. But I could really only get away with putting her through that one more time. Getting the person you love pregnant is the worst thing you can do to the person you... Uh, it's the worst thing you can do to someone that you allegedly love. Uh, it's a real shit thing. You get some people like, oh, I love being pregnant. I'm glowing. Nah, nah, They're nah, all psychos. Now nah, he's got a god up. Like, don't even fucking try it. <laughs> 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 you try and get me up the stick. I've seen what it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's a real... It's a real... Real brutal thing. I bet you kind of choose if you have multiples. You can't. You can. You know. We're not in America. You can. Ki- we can. We can still kill kids over here. Fucking America. Aye. I didn't know how you could go backwards like that. That <laughs> hard and fast. To have less rights than your mother and grandmother. Is... I, I saw a, a horrendously accurate tweet that was like, uh, "America's five months away from drowning witches." Aye. That that's that like that's a, a joke tweet. Aye. But that's how fast they've just went backwards. Aye, it's it's mad, and it's and it's for such a it's for such a minority. It's for such a minority of it's and it's um it's Trump's elected. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I, I like I was saying, how was this? How did this happen under Biden and not Trump? Like how? And it's it's because uh, that's how Because he elected the Supreme Court judges, uh-huh. the three and of the five. Yeah, yeah. That voted. And every time the Democrats have had uh when Obama was in, he didn't get to nominate his justice in because the Republicans were like, yes, Jane, that's not a fair thing to do on a, mm. an election year. And of course, it's because Democrats are thick as picture. They'll be like, OK, well, we'll play by the rules. And then it comes to the Republicans' term and they're like, we couldn't give a fuck about your term limits. We'll do whatever the fuck we want. He's going to nominate this person. And that's why it's in now. And it's unfixable and will be unfixable for years and years and years. And oh, It is, is it like... 
is it not is, is it voted for by the supreme judges that were put in by Trump or is it like the the mass public majority want this to happen no. and and actually we're just underrepresented as the no it, you shouldn't even be called at the left when it comes to something as as simple as human rights Aye. right it shouldn't be called left versus right it's like is the people that that believe in the human rights that a woman should have the right to choose yeah, right? But they, but are these... they outnumbered so heavily by people who think like abortion like is, no. is it is it a representation of the of the public's thinking no i would say about i I'm would asking. say it's, it's well less than half all the stats are that most people in america over 50% i think over 60% are a pro sort of choice but the uh, the, look, you got to remember the American government system was created in this like late seventeen hundreds, the early eighteenth uh, century, uh, and um, you know they put all these things in that were meant to be amended because they knew things were going to change over time, and they trusted it to not become you know too corrupt. But then it inevitably uh, did, and since then there's been a way to. I mean, there's a really good behind. Uh, the bastards on it, and it's about how the people turned the Republican Party into the one that played to the right, deep right Christian base, because those 100% of those people will vote. And by making those become Republicans, Republicans, even though they wouldn't get normally... If, if, if 100% of America voted, who could vote? If 100% of America yeah. could vote, the Re- Republicans would yeah. never get into power and would not have gotten into power And it shouldn't even past. just go to a public vote. It should just be women voting. Well, yeah, uh, yes, aye, on this, pr- yes, on this, on this particular, particular issue. But, but but the way the system is set up is... That's what man, gerrymandering comes from, the Republicans going, we can't win this area fair and square. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that these 60,000 Democratic black votes only count for this much of this portion and that these 20,000 Christian white votes actually count for this. And this is done at every level from fucking city level Mm. to state level in all the states of America. And you've had a Republican Party that have basically been planning Mm. this for so long. Like, this is all their deep long So so you think if you just put it like a, a, a... Basic, every American woman gets to vote. Yeah. Between whether you have the right to an abortion or not. 70%. Right? 70%. So you think would, there'd be, I, you be 30%, per, you think it's just, uh, this is just your guess, you think there'd be 30% that are like deeply religious, old school? Like, not necessarily deeply religious. I think there would be some valid reasons. I think, you know, well, not necessarily valid, but I think people would have those things where they're like, oh, you know, I just, I, the, I'm not, I, I'm not against abortion in these health scenarios, but, you know, I draw the line at killing a baby because you don't want it, yeah. sort of thing. There'll be people who are like, I don't know the name of the, you know, if you need an abortion to survive, yeah. definitely, I'm always for that one. But outside of that, if you're three months pregnant and you don't want a kid, I personally don't believe that. I, mm, it's, I disagree it, with that too, but there is a spectrum of, I think there would be a spectrum of that within it. I think the deep, deep religious, it's murder. Oh, you know what? It's a, we are talking about America, so that, I mean, that very easily could be fucking 30% of them. Mm, yeah, true. I listened to Megan Rapino just rhyming off all the reasons, all the valid reasons for getting an abortion, and it's fucking, it's horrendous. Like, you know, when you're saying, like, somebody could have, like, pregnancies through rape yeah, or, yeah. or somebody's, like, uh, because of their own illness, the, you get the act, of, act of giving birth could kill you. Yeah. And there's this, like, she just fucking, like, rhymed off. Uh, I'm doing a disservice here, but, like, she rhymed off just a bunch of reasons to have an abortion. Other, other than even she threw in, maybe she's just not in the position to, and you yeah. did make some mistakes to get there. Also for right? fun. For fun. Maybe, maybe, and, you, hey, maybe you're into it. And uh, I was just, like... It just really put into perspective how fucking harrowing it is. Like, surely the world has to stand up to that and just go and that. Well, I mean, how do because well, is and also the fact that um, it doesn't mean the abortions are going to stop. No, it just it means they're going to be unsafe. Aye. You, you're going to because you you will get like um, probably doctors and nurses who will be doing it fucking because they believe it's uh, it's something that should be a right. Aye. So they'll have to go through back channels to fucking make it happen for the person. That will happen, but just not under the... Not under Aye. the right... Uh, uh, like, what the... F- sh- surely it gets overturned in the coming years as, the, uh, as this shit that we're talking about now starts to happen. As people are killed by their babies, as people are given birth to rape babies, as I'm as, I'm as I'm people are getting backstreet abortions that kill them, surely when that starts happening, 
the people who wanted that to happen going, oh, we're done fucked up. Oh, like all the times now when people who are in poverty die and the government goes, oh, fuck, we got it wrong. Yeah. We'll redo what we did, guys. Yeah. Turns out, you know, doing this things, uh, making this drug legal because, uh, and putting it as a painkiller uh, and getting people mass addicted to it. You know, I, I don't think they'll, they'll undo anything. Nobody learns from... The only way this will ever get overturned is if, you know, there's a second civil war, I'm telling you. I think they need to fight. Yeah. Man, they, we, they, 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 man it's a two-party system. It's not going to, you know, two-party system doesn't work. It doesn't work this deep into late-stage capitalism. And, you know, it's not going to... And by the way, this won't change, and they won't riot, and they won't overturn it. And none of this is, you know, this is just the way the world will be for a bit. Um, but... They're not going. They're not going to change their government system and uh, without a civil war. And I just don't think they'll ever get to a civil war. So, and there's no way to get rid of these elected officials because they've got you know the, in America there's no age limit on how old you can be and how. In fact, there's the, the, there's no term limits. So it's like once you're in there, you're in there forever. So even like the good politicians that do get in and go in with a good heart, so then they realise, oh, I can just be paid forever if I stay in here long enough and to mm. do that. Just got to make. It's always uh, straight, straight men, pale steel mills making the decisions. No, it? no, there are some cunty Is awful it? women in there, and there's some, Is there that? are some fucking race traitors and some mm. class traitors in amongst the fucking you know, say, greed, it, greed, greed, greed corrupts absolutely the, everywhere. The, the biggest uh, switch in power would be if lasses just went, I boycott and putting out. Mm. Well, boycott and putting out. None of none of you are getting laid until you get your shit together. That includes me and he. None of mm. will get laid. And I bet your men start making right decisions. Or or <laughs> porn becomes free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then the, the porn stars aren't allowed to put out. Uh, all right, well, well. They're all in there. They're all, they're all in there. Um, if you're a woman in America, um, Saws. It was you. It was. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I was the final vote. I was. I rigged all the things. Uh I also really, everyone kept saying overturn Roe versus Raid. I'm like, I do have to learn what that means. I Probably should go and listen to a, a podcast on it. I said like Kramer versus Kramer. I don't know. Like, that's it very could be. Because <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure, that I'm pretty, what I think Roe versus Wade is, is the ruling where it came in from what this is, from what I've picked up from the internet. Uh, the ruling where it came in that it, was, uh, it was the, wasn't the state's right to decide whether abortion it was a country-wide thing and that being overturned is saying no it is a state decision so that's why states can now get to so Aye. so basically deciding that thing was could the, correct could there not have been a fucking middle ground where you can you, you can all right you come in and apply for apply for your abortion where you can oh i want an abortion because they go they made killers Aye. when i give birth i've got this medical condition you go all right yeah sure uh huh. But if you go, oh, because I'm going skiing in the season, yeah, and I didn't want to miss my skiing holder, and they're going, actually, that's not really that valid. Because they're not because well, even yeah. then, that should it should be your choice. It should be your choice. But like, if you are to make a compromise, it would surely be somewhere around about there. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think I, I do think it's just about control, though. And I also uh, think, man, you, look, you've just got these these fucking psychos who seem to think that an embryo smaller than your fucking fingernail constitutes, you know, a life. And so that means in their head, they are doing the right thing. Yeah. And they are, like, if they... Man, man, that's, why they were cheering. that's why they were cheering. That's why they were so happy. Like, it's, you know, I, I understand people being fucking really angry um, at the people celebrating this because it's such... Because they're wrong. It's, they're, they're so it's wrong. So it's wrong. such an attack on women. And it's such a horrible... But as long as they think they're right... Yeah, then, they, you know, they're just... Then they're right for the... They're wrong, but for the right reasons. Even they, then. they Hold on, I'm not, I don't want to ever give them any credit. Aye. But if they think it's murder, they're in their head, in their delusional world Aye. that they're living in, they've just stopped a lot of murders. Aye. That isn't Murders what happened. Murders babies, it's not what happened. Uh-huh, that uh-huh. isn't what happened, but they think they've just saved the murder uh-huh. and of the reason hundreds they th- of thousands of babies. Uh-huh. And the reason they think that is because they had a group of people could constantly tell them that that was the case so and ha- not have any, So know, ha- have we to just, limit the education on them to believe otherwise. Have we just stumbled upon the epiphany that the problem is a lack of education in America? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you, you get to any, <laughs> go to any of America's <laughs> problems and whoop, that's, yeah, it's, that's it's what... Not, it's not an epiphany, was my point. No, right. Uh, well, 
I, f- I figured, well, no, 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 but as long as you were just aware that it was odd, that's everyone. That, mind you, that's our problems here, though. Mm. I think that's, I, I, that's when I feel like one of those fucking proper old school tinfoil hat. I'm like, they try and keep the masses uneducated. Keep dumb. Aye. The keep but, were fucking dumb. Like the school system that I went through. That has to be designed to keep you stupid. Well, no, I, don't I, think, didn't, I, don't I, didn't, I didn't come out of that smart. I don't think it's designed to keep you stupid. I think it's certainly designed that, you know, it's it's not designed to make everyone extremely intelligent. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, there's... I mean, well... Uh, it's, I, it's, I it's breeding workers, is yeah, what it's saying. I, well, I mean, it was. I think nowadays... I think, again, now, back in the day, like, it was definitely that. I think nowadays you've obviously, you know... Not, not that there haven't been these teachers for generations, but I think now hopefully you get more teachers who do it because, you know, if you're teaching now with the wages you're given, like having to buy your own pen, you, they're like, teachers are like nurses at this point, where you're only mm-hmm. doing it because of your love of the job and not any of mm-hmm. the accolades or the money or any of the shit that used to kind of come along with it. Because uh, I, I, I'm only speaking from like the school system decades ago, but uh. surely now, Surely now that the adults who grew up in that school system and realised the flaws in it and created the new one, surely that uh, I don't have kids, so I don't know the answer mm-hmm. to the question about that. Surely they're teaching you how to do a tax return. Surely they're teaching you how to calculate interest rates on credit cards and loans and how to do budgets for your household. Surely they're in school, they're teaching you skills that are going to well, equip well, you well, well, for well, actual well, life that you're going to live, regardless of your vocation. Man, no, 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 man, I didn't learn any of that shit. No, 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 like, I understand people... But that's the stuff we need. I, I know, I know, but just because you need to know something doesn't mean you will. Like, you could teach me how to do my own accounting. I'm not doing my own fucking accounting. I'm always buying an accountant. That's no, 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 that, that's a very privileged position. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, but no, 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 I, I know a lot of middle class people who have accountants. <laughs> Aye, but you you should be able to do your own tax return. Aye, but some people just don't want the same thing, man. I could I could I, I, I could I, I could clean. You know, you, you could do certain things, but sometimes you it's just not what you enjoy and you don't. So you know, you can teach people to do tax returns and all this stuff. And yes, people who were like, I'm at the end of my fucking money. I will learn how to do that. Teaching me how to do a bunch of shit doesn't mean I'm going to fucking but, do it. But this is a, this is the difference, right? You're a comedian that happened to find an agent early doors, and you had a lot of shit done for you as a comedian. That's not how most people start their businesses. A lot of people start their businesses because they have an idea. They get good at something like mm-hmm. uh, like car- carpentry, mm-hmm. right? You get good at carpentry, and now you want to become a carpenter. But you have to not just become a carpenter. You have to become a businessman, and you have to have your books in order. I reckon right. that's when you go you to the accountant. You d- no, that's the bit where you're going, oh, I might as well just keep on working for this joining company. And mm-hmm. I might as well just stay in this fucking, have a boss. Uh-huh. Because it's not worth trying to fucking get my head around how to run a business. Even though I've got the skills for the product, uh-huh. I don't have the skills for the in the business acumen. Teach... No, teach everybody basic business acumen. That means everybody can start a business off the back of their skills. If they find out they have skills, but Wouldn't that's that, probably not going to happen. You're probably just going to stay under the uh, on the payroll of something, uh, making money for somebody else with your skills. I mean, I don't know enough about economics, so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I any. Can't tell you that's, for it. that's the problem. Uh, we should know a bit more. No, but you, you could teach me economics. I mean, that's a, you know, so you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it. Drink. I right. try it, man. We I, I absolutely no, man. <laughs> drink that one. I just fucking mushing it of its mouth by the handful. Like uh, the, uh, we always used to think that if the world knew everything that was going on, that we'd all be fucking outraged. And we've learned that that's not true. Man, we know how corrupt governments are, and nobody's doing yeah. anything. It's very openly like we were all just being like, "All right, this is just the world we're in." And do you think if you taught kids how to work out interest rates on loans, they'd still get the loan? Because yeah. the idea of having five grand now, even though you're going to pay eight grand back over the next yeah. four years. Or, or they'd do what most of us do, and they'd, for, they'd forget it five years after leaving high school. Uh, yeah. They'd go, yeah, go work at the area of that pie. Oh, f- I can't. I yeah. forgot. I've, I've not done it in years. Because uh, I, I did get taught how to work out the breadth of a river by working out the height of a tree. Yeah. <laughs> right? And you don't... I, I, I still don't know how to do that. And that's no. what they chose to teach us instead of my taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, even if they taught us the right thing, I think, you know, uh, you get good students and you get fucking bad students. You get, mm. and that's, you know, you get people who will come in and be, like, really good at their jobs, whether that's being a teacher and they can find these kids who are really good and want to learn and hope that those grow up to, into good, influential people and hope, hope all the ones that didn't get any of that nurturing and were just born to be shit don't drag too much of the rest of the world down, which unfortunately they're currently doing. Uh, is that the end of the podcast?
No, well, I mean it can be. Um, We've got nothing to plug. Oh no, well that's uh, not true. Oh, we've got friend shows to do. Yeah, I've not. I should, oh, I might be writing some of mine today, so that's exciting for some of you. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Behind the behind the curtain. Um, I think I've got like forty five minutes of me show written, and I've got previews coming up in July. Um, I'll post about them on my social medias, but they're in like Stirling and St Andrews and Kilmarnock. Mm. I'm just going to be cutting around Scotland, just trying to figure out the remaining pieces to the puzzle of my fringe show. And then the fringe will be on sale all of August in Edinburgh. Sweet. Uh, so. I'll be, at the fr- yeah, I'm doing a show. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it's on the fringe website and my website. So go to those. And also, um, we have just recorded another podcast, which you can listen to on Thursday while mm-hmm. I'm out having the Wayne Lineker experience in Marbella. Um, we've done it with Jean, and it was very much just about all my ailments yep. and bodily functions. And uh, how body we're getting hair older. Hi. And lumps and bumps. It was basically just like uh, I three old people talking about the wear and tear. Hi. So enjoy that. Bye.